Today our topic is about the how to fix the error connection timed out error. Let's see the step-by-step -step process and different methods to solve this issue. Let's start. Are you seeing the error underscore connection underscore timed underscore out error in your browser? Not a very helpful error message, is it? If you are a daily WordPress user, then it's always good to be aware of common errors like these that might prevent you from getting access to your website. In today's videos, we're going to take a deep dive into the error underscore connection underscore timed underscore out error and examine why you might see this and what you can do to fix it quickly. Simply put, it's an indication that the system is unavailable and the time given for one to connect has elapsed and now the request has timed out. But what does that actually mean? Let's find out. First of all, you know, what is the error connection timed out error? An error underscore connection underscore timed underscore out error typically means there is something wrong with your local network connection. However, that's not always the case. According to the WordPress support documentation, a connection timed out error appears when your website is trying to do more than your server can manage. It's particularly common on shared hosting, where your memory limit is restricted. In Google Chrome, when you visit a website and it doesn't load, your browser will try for around 30 seconds or so until it terminates the connection after which it will return an error underscore connection underscore timed underscore out error indicating a communication problem in google chrome you might see this as this site can't be reached domain.com took too long to respond due to all the different web browsers operating systems and servers the error can present itself in a number of different ways but most of them have the same or similar meaning Air underscore network underscore change and air underscore connection underscore refuse are two very closely related errors that can usually be solved with the same troubleshooting steps below. Below are a few examples of how the error might present itself in different browsers. In Mozilla Firefox, the error will show as the connection has timed out. The server at domain.com is taking too long to respond. However, in Microsoft Edge the error will show as, hmm, can't reach this page. Domain.com took too long to respond. In Edge, however, it does also contain the error underscore connection underscore timed underscore out error. Moreover, in Safari, the error will show as, Safari can't open the page. Safari can't open the page Domain.com because the server where this page is located isn't responding. Now the question comes to mind, how to fix the error connection timed out error? Where should you start troubleshooting if you see this error on your WordPress site? Without a great deal of context, it can sometimes be frustrating and overwhelming where to even begin. Typically these are either client-side problems, issues with your network connection or firewall, or an issue with the server at which the site is hosted, memory limits, execution times, etc. Let's see some method to do fix this issue. The first method, check your connection. Google Chrome, Firefox, and Edge all recommend that you should check your network connection. While this might sound obvious, they all point to checking your connection first as it's one of the most common reasons for the error. Here are a few things we recommend. Restart your home or office router. This only takes a few minutes and solves more problems than a lot of people would like to admit. To completely power cycle it, disconnect the power supply and then wait 30 seconds before plugging it back in. Check to see if you're on a bad or slow Wi-Fi connection. This is a common occurrence on busy public Wi-Fi hotspots such as coffee shops or airports. The second method, disable firewall and antivirus software temporarily firewalls and antivirus software are intended to protect users and their systems. They scan your device regularly and automatically block any suspicious activity. However, this type of security can at times lead to connection issues. This is because firewalls can often block pages they don't need to or reject content that is completely safe. We've seen this happen many times with software like AVG. To check whether this is the case for you, try disabling your firewall and antivirus programs. 
Of course this is only advised if you know for sure that the site you're intending to visit is safe. The third method, disable proxy settings. Sometimes you might see the error connection timed out. If you are utilizing a proxy service, this is usually pretty rare, especially on the client side. However, one might have been set without you even knowing it. To disable or check to ensure no proxy settings are enabled, follow these steps. Access the settings menu in your Chrome browser. This will open up the complete menu of options. Under the system section, you'll need to click advanced at the bottom to see this. You should find an entry titled open proxy settings. By selecting it, you'll be taken to the corresponding menu. Your next step depends on the system you're currently using. Windows users will want to click on LAN settings and uncheck the Use Proxy Server for LAN option. If you're a Mac user, you should immediately find yourself in the relevant menu. You'll then have to uncheck all selectable proxy protocols and check to see if the error connection timed out message has been resolved. If you're on Windows, you will see a local area network LAN settings window appear. You will want to confirm that the use a proxy server for your LAN option is unchecked. The same goes if you're using a VPN like ExpressVPN or Tunnel Bear. Make sure you're not connected by accident. The fourth method, change DNS servers. The next thing you can try is changing your DNS servers. By default, DNS servers are automatically assigned by your ISP. But you could try temporarily changing these to a public DNS server, such as Google or Cloudflare. Some prefer to use Google's public DNS 8.8.8.8 and 8.8.4.4 long-term due to them sometimes being more reliable. Cloudflare also offers secure and blazing fast free DNS 1.1.1.1 and 1.0.0.1, which we will be using in this example. If you want to use Google's the steps are the same. You simply replace the DNS server addresses with Google's. Tip, if you're already using a free DNS server and having issues, removing it and defaulting back to your ISP's DNS servers also sometimes fix things. Google and Cloudflare aren't perfect 100% of the time and there have been a few instances where we've noticed switching back has resolved the issue. This is especially true if you're using a Wi-Fi hotspot in an airport or coffee shop. For the Windows system, simply open up command prompt by pressing the Windows logo key and R then type Control Panel and hit Enter. Click on Network and Internet and then Network and Sharing Center. On the left-hand side, click on Change Adapter Settings. Right-click on your current connection. This will either be local area connection or wireless network connection based on how you're connecting. Then click on Properties. Select Internet Protocol version 4 or version 6 if desired and click on Properties. Make a note of any existing settings in case you need to revert back. Click Use the following DNS server addresses. Enter the following, or replace the existing with these for IPv4. 1.1.1.1 and 1.0.0.1 for IPv6. 2606-4700-4700-1111 and 2606-4700-4700-1001 then. Click OK, then close. Restart your browser. For the Mac system, to change DNS servers on a Mac, go to System Preferences. Click on the Network icon and then click Advanced. Then, click on the DNS tab. Then add Cloudflare's DNS server addresses. For IPv4, 1.1.1.1 and 1.0.0.1 for IPv6. 2606-4700-4700-1111 and 2606-4700-4700-1001. The fifth method, flushed renew DNS. You can also try flushing your local DNS cache. This is similar to clearing your browser cache. It could be that the site you're trying to visit isn't resolving to the correct IP address. If you've just migrated your WordPress site to a new host, 
it's important to wait for things to fully propagate. This can sometimes take up to 24 hours, although it can be as little as a few minutes. This depends on your DNS provider and the TTL value of your DNS records. For the Windows system, simply open up command prompt and enter the following. IP config flush DNS you should see it successfully flush the DNS resolver cache if it worked. For Mac system users, you can enter the following in the terminal DS cache util flush cache node. There is no success message on Macs. The sixth method, check your host's file. Every computer has what they call a local host's file. This is a file that contains manual DNS entries which are mapped to specific IP addresses. Typically this is only edited when you want to preview your DNS before switching over domains to a new host. Or perhaps you have a local development site running using a tool like DevKinsta, Vagrant or Docker. There is a multitude of different ways this file could have been changed or edited. Therefore, it's always good to check to ensure the website you're trying to access isn't in there. Just follow the steps below. For the Windows system, the host's file typically requires additional access. So the first step is to open up your text editor as an administrator. Simply click on your Start menu, search for your text editor, right-click on it and select Run as Administrator. This can be done in any text editor, such as Notepad, Notepad++, Atom, etc. We are using Sublime in our example. Within your text editor click File right pointing arrow open and browse to the following location. See Windows, System32, Drivers, etc. Then click on the host's file and open. Double check and make sure the website you're trying to visit isn't listed in there. If it is, remove it. For Mac system, to check your host's file on a Mac, we recommend getting Gas Mask. It's a free application which can be used as host's file manager, host's files editor, and switch between them. It makes everything quick and easy. Otherwise, you can follow the steps below to edit your host's file on Mac manually. Go to Utilities and then click on Terminal. Enter in the following command and press Enter. You will most likely be prompted for your administrator password as well. sudo nano, private, etc. Hosts double check and make sure the website you're trying to visit isn't listed in your host file. If it is, remove it. The seventh method, check the DNS of your domain. You should also verify that the DNS of your domain is correctly pointed to your hosting provider. If you're a Kinsta client, we have an in-depth post on how to point your domain and or DNS to Kinsta. If you recently migrated your WordPress website to a new host, it could be the DNS was cached incorrectly on your computer. In which case the method fifth above should resolve that. Or it may simply be too soon and you need to wait a few hours for the DNS to fully propagate. The eighth method, clear browser cache web browsers store information in cache on your computer. This includes your browsing history, saved login data, and cookies, all of which are recorded in order to load the relevant pages more quickly the next time they're visited. Although they're useful, caches can cause numerous issues when they become outdated. Fortunately, this problem is easily solved by clearing your cache. But before you do that, you can easily check to see if it's a browser cache issue by first opening up your browser in incognito mode. Or you can try a different browser. If you're still seeing the error, then you'll want to proceed with clearing your cache. In this example, we'll be using Google Chrome. Begin by opening up the primary menu in the top right corner of your browser window. From there, select More Tools, you can then click on Clear Browser Data. On the resulting page, you'll need to make sure that all listed file categories are selected. If they aren't, Chrome won't be able to empty the entire cache. Instead, it will simply remove the most recent entries which won't result in the desired effect. An alternative method of completing this process is to enter the following URL into your address bar chrome colon slash slash settings slash clear browser data the resulting screen should grant you access to the same options we've outlined above 
Here are some other helpful links for clear and cache. The ninth method. Look at the maximum execution time. The rest of the troubleshooting steps we'll be diving into are those that have to do with the configuration of your WordPress site or server that may help fix the error connection timed out. The first is the maximum execution time set for your site. On most servers the default time is set to 30 seconds. This is the amount of time a PHP script is allowed to run, after which it times out. On shared hosts, this is typically set low or left at the default. You can easily modify this from WordPress as the php.ini file is located on your server. To modify this, we recommend reaching out to your hosting provider to see if they can help. At Kinsta, we set the default maximum execution time to 300 seconds. If you want to try and modify this yourself, it can usually be done with one of the following options. Both will depend on how your hosting provider configures their servers. Option 1 Modify max execution time in php.ini file If you have a php.ini file in your home directory, find the max underscore execution underscore time parameter and modify it. For example, if it's set to 30 seconds, you can increase it to 300 seconds. Max underscore execution underscore time equals 300 option to modify max execution time in htasis file if the above option doesn't work. You might be able to change it within your htaccess file. Just like with the php.ini file, this is typically located within your home directory. Place the following in the top of your htaccess file php underscore value max underscore execution underscore time 300. The tenth method, increase the memory limit. The wp underscore memory underscore limit parameter allows you to specify the maximum amount of memory that can be consumed by PHP. If you are using shared hosting, it's most likely set to a low value such as 64M. At Kinsta, we set the default memory limit to 256M. You can increase the memory limit by adding the following to your wp-config.php file. This must be placed above the wp-settings.php inclusion. Define wp-memory-limit 256m. If you're not sure what your current PHP memory limit is set to, if you have access to your WordPress dashboard and are running WordPress 5.2 or above, you can see the PHP memory limit under the Site Health tool. At the end of the conclusion, connection and timeout errors are never fun to troubleshoot but hopefully, you have a little more knowledge in your tool belt now to help resolve it quickly. It's important to remember that the error underscore connection underscore timed underscore out error be a result of a client side problem such as your network connection or an issue with a server where your WordPress site is hosted. Have any other tips to resolve this error? Let us know below in the comments. If you like this video then click on the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thank you so much for your support.